Now, it's a big birthday for BBC Radio Wales, which is celebrating 40 years on air. When it began in 1978, its mix of news and entertainment brought a new sound to people's daily routines. But it recently suffered, suffered its worst listening figures on record and its editor has said it'll have to meet the challenge posed by streaming services and podcasts. Here's our arts and media correspondent, Hugh Thomas. It's half past six on Monday, November the 13th, and this is Anita Morgan saying welcome to Radio Wales on 340 metres on the medium wave. And so began 40 years of broadcasting for Wales's national English language radio station. And from the start, there seemed to be plenty to sing about. What really well, set him off? Uh, singing, Frank Sinatra. Strangers in the night. Da -da -da -dee, da -da -da, la -la 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 -la. Well, there's no parrots today, but there is this big bus. They've had it specially painted to take their presenters out on tour around Wales to celebrate the 40th birthday. It's a chance for the presenters to meet listeners and hear from special birthday guests. It's funny because we were talking to Catherine Zeta-Jones earlier on today and she said that she remembers listening to BBC Radio Wales at her grandparents' house when she was growing up. And, you know, uh, BBC Radio Wales had touched many, many people's lives uh, in all kinds of different uh, ways. Uh, six, you were rude to me, though, so one off. <laughs> all week, the presenters are visiting different parts of Wales. Today, it was Kittle on Gower, which welcomed one of the station's longest-serving stars. I think radio is very personal. I think you can you can be walking around the kitchen, doing whatever you want to do, and you can still be listening to the radio. And uh, I found out when I was very young, when I got into music first, I used to listen to Radio Luxembourg, because they were playing the music I wanted to hear. Yeah. And I think it's very important that uh, we touch the nerve of the people who want to listen to us. The birthday celebrations continue this afternoon with a Hollywood A-lister. Keeping listeners has proved a challenge as audiences increasingly choose podcasts and streaming services as well as stations like Radio Wales. Despite the latest listening figures hitting a record low, the man in charge of the station remains optimistic. There's a number of different fronts that you've got to look at. There's the radio station, but then there's digital platforms. And I'm committed to listening to audiences and also acting on it then to make sure wherever they're getting their audio from, Radio Wales and BBC Wales is, is part of that mix. Any worries about listening figures were put aside today for a big celebration as the station marked four decades at the heart of Welsh broadcasting. Happy birthday!